You must really fancy him. <sighs> no. Well, something's going on between the two of you. I've seen it. I've got eyes. Oh, grow up. That's what this is, isn't it? Eh? You fancy him and you're too gutless to do anything about it. You're not going to goad me, Rox, all right? You're just not. Well, that's a bit pathetic, really, isn't it? Eh? I mean, when was the last bloke you had? When was that? God, I can't even remember. Help me out, Ron. Help me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit sad, really. I mean, fancying him is one thing. You know, just do him, get it over with, but letting a man take charge of you. No, he's not taking charge of me. Not the way I see it. Opening early tonight. Yeah, all your idea, was it? No, it was all his. And your partner's. He don't give a knackers for your opinion, love. He's stringing you along. Give it up, Rox, all right? You're not going to get what you want. What's that? You want a reaction out of me? Well, it's not going to happen. I am not going to scrap with you. You are wasting your breath. Now, just leave. What I want is for you to say sorry. What for? For choosing a man over me. You have done it plenty of times. Now, listen to me. I am all done here. I don't care what you do. I'm going back to work. You're ashamed of yourself, aren't you? <sighs> what? Yeah, I've got you sussed. You're embarrassed. Because you know you're being used. No one uses me, all right? They never have and they never will. <laughs> Ronnie Mitchell, hey, the ice queen, heart of glass. Letting a man pull a fast one on her. Oh, the shame of it. How will you ever live that down? Well, no wonder you kept it quiet, you poor pathetic sap. Do you want to know why I kept it from you, Rox, do you? I kept it from you because I wanted something for myself. I wanted something that had nothing to do with you, just me. You are all over my life. You're in it. Everything is about you. And I wanted something of my own. Well, finally. A bit of honesty, eh? It's like getting blood out of a stone. And you know what? Don't even start with me about men, OK? Cos at least I don't screw anything in a pair of trousers just to make me feel good about no, myself. No, because you're frigid. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. It's very much. At least they have fun. You're a liability. I don't live my life. I live yours. Oh, poor, hard, dumb by Veronica. Such a martyr. No one knows how you suffer. I've had enough of this. Oi! I am not finished. What are you going to do, Rox? You're going to throw yourself on the floor, are you? Bang your little heels. You're going to pout till you get what you want. That may have worked when we were kids, but it doesn't work anymore. Now, things are going to happen to you that you don't like, and you're going to have to learn how to deal with it. This conversation is over. You wanted something of your own?